Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th tutorial to beginner's guide on how to Revit. So, in this video, we will learn how to make a door family in the easiest and simplest way possible as well as placing them in our model then modifying them. So for now, go to 3D view by clicking this button right here, turn off the shadows by clicking this button here, change our detail to fine, and the visual style to consistent color, shaded, or realistic, whichever is most comfortable for you. We also need a plan view for us, so let's open this one. Window tile. Okay. Now, usually, there's already a generic door model that's ready for us. You can see it in architecture, door, and here in the properties, this single flash is usually here. And as you see, there's already a bunch of dimensions available for us to use. So let's go ahead and choose this one and let's place it somewhere here in example. Let's move our 3D here. You can actually place it either in 3D or in plan as well if you see the outline. Now, if I hover my mouse up, you will see that the door orientation changes. For, and if you press spacebar from here, it changes as well. But you got to make sure how to properly place the door properly. Because if you see, we have two walls here, right? One is the finish and one is the brick wall. Here, the door is being placed on the brick wall. While if I go it a little bit up, you will see now it's kind of different. So in this case, you got to know how to place them properly. So let's place one right now here in the middle. All right, you see, there we go. Next, if you click or select this one and press spacebar, you can control the orientation or click these icons right here. Next up, you will see here that it's being blocked by the finish wall, right? To fix that, we got to join them. How to do that? Go to modify, join here, join geometry. So click your finish and the wall itself and the other side as well. There. Next, we got to make sure that they're in the proper level. So if you click here, you will see something that's called steel height. The steel height is actually similar to the offset distance of their level to the constraint. So let's play around with it. Let's try zooming in like this. If I were to make this 100, it will go up. If it were to be negative 100, it will go below the constraint level, which is ground floor, like so. All right, so let's Put that back to zero. Next up, click your door and we will go to edit properties. So we will try to modify it like we did with the walls. And as usual, we duplicate. Change this as is. First, here in the material and finishes, the door panel, if we change here, we can we have the choice to change its material. Let's say, for example, let's look for something very distinct. This one. So if I select this, the door material, which is the panel, will change to earth. If I apply this and OK, if I deselect, you will see that now it's using the earth material. Same goes for the other one, which is the frame here or the architrave. If I change this to earth, same thing is going to happen. All right, so let's undo that. Now let's check the other one. Next up, dimensions. So for dimensions, is it explainable? This thickness refers to the door panel. If we change this value, the door panel is going to be 100 mm thick. Of course, the height is it's the door height. Next up is the width and the trim is actually the frame or the architrave. So if I were to change this with here, you will see the difference when I click apply. See that? Unfortunately, you can see from that, if I make it to 500, there, that's the width. And the trim projection for the interior, if I make this 200, it will, it's the thickness actually. See that? Now, if I make this to 500, it will easily be seen. Okay, so 
that's what we can change here apparently. So let's go ahead and return it to normal. Of course, the door thickness should only be around 30 to 50 mm. Height, 2000 should be okay. Width, 900. For the trim width, should be 20. Sorry, the trim thickness, 20 is enough. And width, of course, I think 50 should be good. There, okay. So next up. What if you want to use any other type of doors in a family? Like, this is the only choice we have, right? What if I want a double leaf door or a steel door or any other whatever doors to do that? Actually, you can either download it from the library content in Revit that I usually give out to my links and in the description or go to insert, load Autodesk family here. We have plenty of choices for us to pick from. And since we're using doors, go to doors. Next, choose whatever you want. I'll stay here for everything. And I'm going to choose something really simple. You know what? Just this one. What else? And this as well. Okay, so load. Let's gonna load it now. Just press OK for this one. Now that it's loaded, go back to architecture, door, and here it is. This one. So let's place it here. Let's delete the first door that we have I think I placed it in the wrong one again should be placed here in the middle there is it properly joined okay let's see the distance from the column let's make this 1063 Okay, that should be good enough. Now, let's add some doors for the garage, the exit here, and the bathroom. Let's use the single door flush, which is this one. Make sure that you properly place it on the middle wall or the core wall. Now, let's align this part here. We gotta join it first since we can't see it. There should appear now. Okay, next up here in the back door, let's look for something that should be good. Let's go back to insert, load Autodesk family. All right, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, let's join it. All right, so it even has a panic bar for us ready, which is this one right here. Next, here, we need to put a door for the garage. Let's use the same one, create similar. There, now again, we join. All right, so that seems to be good enough. Before we end this tutorial, why don't we go ahead and add the garage door as well since it was available here I saw it when we're passing through where was it this one or yeah let's use this one now again let's go to doors 
better we do it in plan view since it's difficult to do it in 3D. There. looks fine but we gotta join this wall to the outer wall there we go now let's fix its height and width or just the width 2700 let's change this to 2650 now that looks better Alright, so I guess that's it for this tutorial. Next up, I'll be teaching you how to create a door family in the easiest way possible. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.